Well, Luke, we might as well get straight to the point. So a few decisions that didn't quite go our way today. Yeah, I thought it was awful, I've got to be honest. Um, it's a pen. I think some of the decisions against the centre arts with Brett Williams, if they do their own work, they know what Brett Williams is about in terms of backing in and he gives a little tumble. There's a foul on Bruno Andrade, which is the biggest incident. Books him for a pen, uh, for a dive, sorry, and the kid's three yards from goal. He's 11 and 17, the kid's on fire. Why would he not be shooting? Um, so, yeah, frustration. Was he the reason Josh Reece scored the goal from a wide free kick? No. Was he the reason why we didn't lock on to Brett Williams for him to half turn in our half? Um, and breaking when Ardio comes in his right foot and scores? No. But he played a factor in us, I, think, I believe, not winning the game of football. How did Bruno see him in the dressing room after? What was, what was his reaction to the decision? Walking off, he was just like, Gaffer, I didn't die. Gaffer, I didn't die. I said, I, I know, son. Everyone, you... When he blows the whistle and all the Bromley fat players do that as if to say it's a pen and all our boys are fist pumping, that would suggest that you're given a penalty. But he didn't and like I said, as much as he was awful, I could say so much worse. He was poor on the day, I felt, for both, both sides, not just us. He weren't in favour of anyone today, he was just generally poor. Um, but frustrating. The tempo today, they, they come here, you can see the goalkeeper goes and collects the ball, walks the other side of his goal, puts it down, touches his shin pads, goes back, goes to kick it, throw on, slow, time wasting. They tried to kill our tempo and I think they did that. We get the goal from Dan Holman, which I'm over the moon for the kick because he's now his fifth start, two sub appearances and he's now off, off the mark and hopefully that gets the monkey off his back. But you're thinking, brilliant, their game plan is to have two banks of four, uh, don't do a low press, anything goes centre of the park, then they're going to press with an intent and sit themselves back in their holes. So I'm thinking, now they've got to come out of us. And we, we, we masters, of, master, masters of our own downfall in terms of the free kick, Steve a little nick, tries to nick things instead of standing up. Then it's the, the ball in the box, the wall's wrong, the, the line up in terms of across the 18 yard box is wrong. He gets in between two centre arse, which no disrespect, it ain't good enough. We scored two goals and we've not won a game of football. We haven't put a defensive, de defensive display against guys like we did on Tuesday night to then offer up two poor goals. And if you're sitting in team meetings on a Thursday and Friday and I'm going through and dissecting what their strengths and weaknesses are, I said about two set plays against Woking. Woking absolutely popped them. Two balls in the box, they win a game of football 2-0. I talk about their counter-attack against Gateshead, counter-attack against Maidenhead. They sit themselves in and when they turn it over, they drive, drive with pace. There's the two goals that we've conceded from. So, frustrating because we get to a level and you think now, this evening, if we won a game of football, we'd be sitting fourth or fifth, four points off the top, going into a weekend against Blackpool. Unfortunately, now we've dropped a place, we're tenth, and what if, what if, what if? And I, I want to stop that because we're going to go places. I know that, the management, the team in there, we need to start clicking into gear now. And that starts with Monday going ready for Blackpool. Second half though, the defence did seem to react to whatever you said at half time and they looked much more solid, didn't they? I think we had a, had a goal in the second half. We played with our tempo instead of going down to their, their tempo, which I think I have to give credit to Neil Smith and his side. They've come here so frustrating. It's like the Ebbsfleet game. They come here and... They sit in, they look to count, and they, they look to hurt you on the break. And it's just, yeah, annoying that we couldn't have sustained the 1-0 for a little bit longer because I felt that it could have gone two. And then, for me, then it, the game's over because they have to come out and it changes their game plan. But, unfortunately, we've dropped two points to them. We've built a reputation as a creative and attacking side. Is, is that kind of what you have to expect when teams, see us, when teams travel up here? Yeah and no, I look at obviously Wrexham the same, Esfleet the same today um, uh, in terms of Bromley, I look at Solly on Moors but we got, got a quick reaction off their goal so it changes but yeah I think the boys have got to take that in consideration, they know that, that the level is going to be organised, well drilled and for me it's about being a little bit more braver when it's landed on the ball and having a little bit more purpose to our play so and I felt we did that second. I felt Kieran Murta come back into the game. I felt the back three played higher at the park and I felt we condensed it and we could sustain a little bit more pressure in their half. It's just that the ball goes across the six yard box and Angelo, empty net, put it in the empty net and you think game over. But again, it's just we're ruining our missed chances at the minute. 
mentioned Dan Holman's goal and that's what he's all about, isn't it? That type of finish. He is a fox in the box. I said to him I want him to stay within the post. And you see we hit a throw on late on over the other side and you've got Sean Jeffers in there, Bruno in there and he wants to go and join them. And that's not his game. Let other people do that. Get yourself in and around the box and get knockdowns, which he did and he got his, got his rewards for. And that's something that I maybe need to work with him and show him and some footage because... He scored a shed loads of goals at this level for doing that and I think he's got to get back to his strengths and get other people to do the, do the link play and he goes and plays on the shoulders or in between the sticks. Bruno, is, he may not have scored today but Bruno Andrade does seem to grow with confidence in every game, doesn't he? Yeah, no, I, I changed it slightly bringing off obviously Andrew and I dipped him back in off the front. I felt that probably I played into Bromley's hands a little bit because he was a danger, he's always on the shoulder. Then I got Blair Turbot back on. I thought Blair had an impact. I thought he was bright. He um, got on the ball and he tried to link it. And getting Bruno back up alongside Sean Jeffers probably had more of a favourable uh, impact on, on our part. But he's got good quality. Maybe he needs to learn when to link it when he gets an overload against. Because a couple of times he's trying to shift it and they have a double up on him. He's, he's, he's got the respect now of the level that there's going to be twos and threes that land on him. Because he is 11 in 17 and, or 18 now. And... He, he, he can pull Sank out of the bag when, when asked, so he needs to identify when he gets a one and one or when he gets a two and one in their favour that he needs to start shifting the board a bit quicker. We're going to Blackpool next weekend though with this out of our minds and full of confidence. Yeah, no, I said to the boys afterwards, um, there has to be a belief, I believe, I believe that we can go and put on a right show against Blackpool and then if they cut, everyone loves an underdog and I think we, we suit that tag, especially against teams above us in terms of, I feel we've got personal in there that could still play at the level above and potentially the level above that. So I, I don't fear fear the game. I don't fear us getting on the front foot and trying to dominate a game like we do. And I know Blackpool will come here and they're going to want to progress. It's, it's a massive, massive opportunity to get into the second round for both sides. And they, I, hope they, um, I hope they give us the respect because I think we deserve it.